I always think like, you know, there's a term, the music business, but music and business have absolutely nothing to do with one another. They require ent entirely different types of personalities. There's a, a quote from a guy called Thomas Merton, who was basically like a Christian monk. Do not depend on the hope of results. You have to come to terms with the fact that your work will achieve no result at all, or even sometimes the opposite effect. As you get used to this notion, you focus not on the results, but on the truth, the value, and the rightness of the work itself. You know, I could force myself to just play banjo. I'm just the banjo guy now. Mm -hmm. But why would I be doing that? Am I, why have I not done that yet? And it's because I haven't particularly felt compelled to do that. I felt compelled to do all of the various things that I have done to this point. And so it's such a capitalistic uh, notion, modern American value system, Western world mm -hmm. bullshit, that it's only worth doing something if, well, if you can make a living off of it. And what a, sh what a shame that is. The, some of the greatest joys of my life have been doing artistic things, meeting other people who are art artistic, uh, creating things, performing. And to think that people deny themselves of that ancient form of human expression Mm -hmm. Because what? Because nobody's going to buy your paintings? Who gives a fuck, man? <laughs> Who cares? Yes. Yeah, I could not agree more. And I think that capitalism also kind of it. We were talking a little bit earlier about cults. And one way that um, oftentimes cults function is they keep the followers so tired that they can't um, they can't break out or question anything. And I think capitalism exhausts us to the point that the idea of getting out those paints, you know, that dad getting out the paints is um, like a foregone conclusion. It's like, of course he can. He's fucking exhausted. Like he doesn't have the money. Like he's uh, any number of reasons. And I think that capitalism wants to beat the creative um, impulses out of us because it's not profitable. And like you're saying, it has to fit into that framework of profitability. And I know as an artist who is also on social media, I'd be lying if I say I wasn't thinking about it when I create art of like, is this going to be liked? Even if that's not a direct monetization, it's it's a, a side, you know, it's a step towards monetization. And so that has just so permeated our thinking when it comes to art making and and uh, it's just really 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 sad <laughs> and i don't know it is. <laughs>